Many years ago, the tribe known as the Patapons set off on an exodus to find a sacred land known as Earthend. A prophecy foretold that a great treasure known as It was waiting there, and that it would grant eternal contentment and happiness to those who were fortunate enough to witness it. Guided by the almighty Patapon, an ancient god, the Patapons of old overcame even the greatest trials. No foe was mighty enough to destroy them. Even the technologically advanced dynasty known as the Awu were no match for the Patapons and were mercilessly vanquished for standing in their way. The amazing, mysterious machines that the Awu had created became distant history. Earthen felt so close that the Patapons could almost touch it. One day, the Patapon's journey led them to a strange object. This object revealed itself as the World Egg. The World Egg held this world together, keeping the clashing forces of good and evil apart. A great calamity would occur should the World Egg ever shatter. The Patapons believed that the World Egg was it, and that the land that surrounded it was indeed earthened. Thus, they built a grand city which became known as Patapol. The world egg rested at the end of the Patapon's new home, not far from the Patapol palace, where the royal family of the Patapons resided. There, it would be kept safe by its guardians. One unfortunate day, a single Patapon was approached by the leader of another tribe, the Carmens. He introduced himself as Ormond Carmen and the Patapon as a Wakapon, a guardian of the World Egg. Its destruction allowed the demons of the underworld to invade their sacred lands and thus called in the downfall of the Patapons. Their only hope, the Almighty God that guided them, had vanished, leaving the Patapons to be driven from their homes fleeing to a secluded island guarded by the Zigoton tribe. The Zigoton's task was to make sure that the Patapons would never march again. The Patapons sent their strongest soldiers to look for one of the holy drums once played by their god, one that granted them strength in trying times. Though the group soon found itself on the brink of exhaustion, the last flag bearer of the almighty Patapon Patapon prayed that the one they sought would come to them in their time of need. Is that a trump? I think I feel energized. And their prayers were answered. The almighty Patapon returned and they introduced themselves as Halo. Using the sacred drums that only they could play, Halo gave the Patapons the perseverance and strength to march and take a stand against the ones keeping them trapped. The Zygotons Despite their cuddly appearance, Patapons still took after their powerful and violent ancestors. Soon, the Zygotons would fill every ounce of their bloodthirst. No Zygoton made wall or watch guard could hold them for long.